good afternoon, uh, Judge Winter. Um, International Children's Center is an international uh, NGO uh, based in Turkey, and we have a uh, children's rights uh, TV on uh, on YouTube. Um, so that we can reach out uh, everyone in Turkish and in English about uh, different topics on children's rights. Um, you're a newly elected uh, uh, member of the Committee on the Rights of the Child, uh, which is a part of the uh, Convention on the Rights of the Child. Um, and you have more than 35 years of uh, experience as a judge uh, dealing with children's rights issues. Um, can you um, tell us uh, what a um, good uh, juvenile justice system should look like? Uh, according to the international experience and to many national experiences, a good juvenile justice system is one where all the stakeholders working with and for children are working together and are specialized, first of all. So you have to have a specialized youth police, as you have in Turkey already. But this youth police should deal, and so I'm coming already to Turkey, should deal with children and with the investigation uh, concerning children, but also with uh, children in, as victims and witnesses, because they are specialized, not only in the penal field, but maybe if necessary to protect also in the civil field of the law. You need to have uh, specialized investigators, especially to prevent violence against children in the system, uh, because we have violence, especially in the justice system, otherwise. We have to have specialized prosecutors, specialized judges, but also specialized people in the institutions where children might uh, be referred to. Another point of a good system of juvenile justice would be to have really good referral mechanisms, like for instance, uh, if necessary, to protect the child, not to send the child to an institution, but to a foster family or a guest family for a certain amount of time. It would be necessary as well to have uh, continuous training of those people working with children, because juvenile justice is in the forefront of the, uh, uh, legal and the justice development. And uh, the new developments have to be uh, spread quickly and have to know, be known uh, quite quickly. Like for instance, uh, alternatives to punishment, alternatives to trial, alternatives to uh, the execution of punishment, diversion mechanisms, and so on. That has to be known, that has to be trained, and the method, and the network has to be established. Without a, a very good juvenile justice, and even the best juvenile judge cannot work without a good social work and a good social system, not without a probation officer, in order to uh, not to allow for re, uh, incrimination, for re victimization, and uh, for repeating any crime. So, what I wanted to say is, in such a system, we have a lot of stakeholders, and they all have to be trained the same way, and have to work together and understand each other's duty. Thank you. Um, and what do you suggest that Turkey should do to achieve this sort of uh, a juvenile justice system? Yeah, as I said, to have specialists and to train them, especially in the beginning and together at the end of a training. Uh, I have been, if you allow me to be very critical, I have been visiting Turkey and I have been visiting the police in Turkey and I have seen the very, very good work of uh, the specialized police people and I do think they have by far more capacity that one can positively use. I have also been visiting a child prison and it was the best prison I have ever seen in my life. But I have also seen other child uh, prisons in Turkey, and they were among the worst ones I have seen in my life. So I'm asking myself, if the country knows already how one can do something very well, why does it not do it all over the country? Uh, that would be one of the things uh, I would like to recommend. And I would like to uh, recommend that you really have specialized juvenile judges all over. You have very young population. And the more you invest in children in a positive way, the 
what you, uh, the better it is. But you do not invest in the cradle. You have to pay until the grave. So it would pay off, I would say, to have specialists. Thank you. Thank you for your um, uh, time, uh, for uh, giving your expertise on, on juvenile justice issues. I have one more question. And you uh, indicated that, uh, that there are two uh, things that a government should do after a concluding observation. Um, and one is uh, a five or ten year plan, and the other one is dissemination. Can you uh, elaborate on them just a bit? Uh, you see, governments can change. And if with every change of a government, uh, we have to deal with new people, who do not know what has been happening before, what was good and what was bad, then uh, you never, you go in a circle. Uh, so it is very good to have an action plan, the development of an action plan on uh, child-friendly justice. And I repeat, not juvenile justice, child-friendly justice. Civil part and penal part, and if necessary, administrative part. So that you have a plan, and that you uh, develop your system according to that plan. So if the government change, then you have uh, the possibility to look at the plan, this has been done, this has not been done, and so on. That is the first thing. The second thing are the concluding observations of the, of the committee. Uh, the concluding uh, uh, observations is no criticism. It is an assistance to the country to develop a good system and a good plan. Uh, you cannot do that uh, uh, alone. Nobody can do that alone, nor can the government do it alone. Uh, these concluding observations should be translated into the national languages of a country and sent around to all the stakeholders so that they can be asked, what is your opinion? How do we do that? How are we going to continue our planning? Otherwise, it stays somewhere until the circle is over in the next five years. And then they, are, uh, then they are taken from the shelf and, oh, my goodness, we have not uh, thought about this and about that and so on. But you need, as I said, the assistance of people, of the, social, uh, of the civil society, of all the stakeholders, and uh, they have to know, otherwise they cannot assist. Thank you again for your time and, uh, well, uh, sharing your expertise on Children's Rights TV. Thank you.